Did you know that what we experience is the force of gravity is actually the curvature of space-time? In other words, massive objects like planets, stars, and galaxies create a dent in the fabric of space-time, causing other objects to move along curved paths. This incredible concept was proposed by Albert Einstein in his general theory of relativity, which revolutionized our understanding of the universe. Space-time is not a physical material but a mathematical construct that combines the three dimensions of space with the dimension of time. The curvature of space-time is intimately connected to the distribution of matter and energy in the universe, and it can even create extreme phenomena like black holes. Gravity is a fundamental force of nature that causes all objects with mass to attract each other. It is responsible for keeping planets in orbit around stars, stars in orbit around galaxies, and galaxies in clusters. Gravity is one of the four fundamental forces in the universe, along with electromagnetism, the strong nuclear force, and the weak nuclear force. What if I told you that gravity is not a force? In the early 20th century, Albert Einstein proposed a new theory of gravity called general relativity. According to this theory, gravity is not a force at all, but rather the curvature of space-time caused by the presence of massive objects. In other words, objects with mass curve the fabric of space-time, causing other objects to move along curved paths. Gravity has many important implications for the behavior of objects in the universe. It determines the structure and motion of galaxies, the orbits of planets and moons, and even the behavior of light. Understanding gravity is essential for understanding many aspects of the universe and is a subject of ongoing research in physics and astronomy. According to the general theory of relativity, gravity is not a force that acts between objects, but rather the curvature of space-time itself caused by the presence of massive objects. In this theory, massive objects like planets, stars, and galaxies create a curvature in space-time that causes other objects in their vicinity to follow curved paths. To understand this concept, let's consider an example of a ball rolling on a flat surface. When the ball is at rest on the surface, it has a certain amount of potential energy due to its position relative to the ground. If we then push the ball, it will begin to move along a straight path until it eventually comes to a stop due to friction or other forces. Now, let's imagine that the same ball is rolling on the surface of a large, heavy object like a planet. In this case, the ball would follow a curved path because the planet's mass creates a curvature in space-time around it. As the ball rolls along the surface of the planet, it is not being pulled towards the planet by a force, but rather it is following a natural path determined by the curvature of space-time. What is space-time? In the context of general relativity, space-time is a four-dimensional structure that combines the three dimensions of space with the dimension of time. It is a mathematical framework that describes the fabric of the universe in which all events occur. Space-time is not a physical material, but rather a theoretical construct that physicists use to understand the behavior of matter and energy. According to the theory of general relativity, the presence of massive objects like planets, stars, and galaxies causes space-time to curve. This curvature is what we experience as the force of gravity. The more massive an object is, the greater the curvature it creates in space-time around it. To understand how this works, let's imagine a flat rubber sheet representing space-time. We can think of an object like a planet as a heavy ball placed on the sheet. The ball creates a curvature in the sheet, and smaller objects placed on the sheet will roll towards the ball along curved paths. This is similar to how gravity works in the real world, where planets and other objects follow curved paths through space-time in the presence of massive objects. The curvature of space-time caused by massive objects can be described mathematically using the Einstein field equations. These equations relate the distribution of matter and energy in space-time to its curvature. The curvature is quantified by a mathematical object called the Riemann curvature tensor, which describes the local curvature of space-time at each point. It is important to note that the curvature of space-time is not something that exists in isolation from matter and energy. The curvature is a consequence of the presence of massive objects and is intimately connected to the distribution of matter and energy in the universe. In summary, space-time is a mathematical framework that describes the fabric of the universe, combining the three dimensions of space with the dimension of time. The curvature of space-time is intimately connected to the distribution of matter and energy in the universe. Another example of curved space-time is the bending of light by massive objects. In the presence of a massive object, such as a star, light traveling through space-time is also affected by the curvature of space-time. As a result, the path of the light bends around the massive object, creating a distorted image of objects behind it. A more extreme example of curved space-time is a black hole. Black holes are incredibly massive objects that create a very strong curvature in space-time around them. The curvature is so strong that it forms a singularity, a point in space-time where the laws of physics as we know them break down. Anything that gets too close to a black hole, including light, is pulled in by the curvature of space-time and cannot escape its grasp. So the next time you feel the force of gravity, remember that it's not a force at all but the incredible curvature of space-time.